Okay, we're gonna try to bring you along. I really screwed up. I have a, had a load of brush up here and I got brave and tried to take it down the hill. I have a burn pile down there that I was gonna burn it at. Starting the 1st of March, they're going to allow open burning. And uh, I knew there was a layer of snow on the road, but I did not realize there was a layer of ice. Ice, ice baby. So anyhow, I hit that hill, and I did, I slid a little bit on this here little slope going down. Now this happened a couple days ago. So, uh, Anyhow, I slid down right in here a little bit, the back end. The front end has chains. Of course, those chains have proven not to be very eff effective. But anyhow, this here uh, is what it looks like now. There's quite a bit of ice. The ground itself is frozen. But there was about a, well, this was all white. It was snowed on. And of course it was like 43 degrees outside so I figured it was good enough but I hit this patch of ice and slid I had the box blade dropped all the way and I had to drop the loader and it really didn't help I slid about 30 feet uncontrollably which was a white knuckle experience And I stopped just before I hit before I hit anything, which is great. So I started uh, maneuvering around. I managed to drop. <laughs> Whoops! It is slick. That wasn't good. So I managed to ouch! Drop the load of brush that I had on the grapple. I've been able to use the grapple a little to help slow me down. So anyhow, the challenge today is to try to winch this thing out. Yesterday I went to Harbor Freight and picked up a winch. And uh, yeah, you can see, you almost see in these tracks where the chains put lines in it. down here it's just frozen solid and it's steep enough that it's unable to go anywhere on its own but anyhow I managed to back up about four feet or almost ten feet and then it just slid again another twenty feet down the hill so I gotta be careful not to fall again but yeah, it's uh, I covered it up because it has been here for two nights. It has spent and even with the the grapple, the it has a hard time digging into this ice to help slow me down. And these chains are, I'm sure they help a little bit, but they're not enough. If I had changed on all four wheels, it may have worked, but yeah, my bad. I should not have done this. This is going to be a challenge. I've got a rope up on the hill up there, or a strap on a tree, and the receiver hitch is here. I'm going to try to put my winch in there and fire up the tractor and try to get it to back out of here using the winch so anyhow I'm gonna take a different route I'm gonna go through those trees there I'm not gonna winch it up this hill I hope my odds are better going up there 
I'm thinking once I get off the beaten path I'll have a little more traction. That's my hopes because it seems like these ruts have collected a lot of ice. So anyhow I'll bring you guys along and see what, uh, what whether we can make progress here. So this is my setup for doing the winching the tractor out. I went and bought, purchased, went up to my friendly neighborhood, Harbor Freight, purchased a Badlands 5,000 pound winch. Uh, this was the middle of the road. They had lighter ones, they had heavier ones. So I fabricated a little receiver hitch mount. I welded it to the mount plate that they give you. And this is what that looks like. We're hoping everything holds. We're just gonna slip that into the receiver on the tractor and hope for the best. This thing's only got a 50 foot um, cable on it. So I, I'm probably gonna have to rehook and rehitch on it a couple times to get it out of there. And I had to fabricate a mount for the relay. These things are designed to go on a vehicle and not stand alone the way I've got it. So hopefully it'll work. And I had to scab on some jumper cable to extend the, the wire to go. I'm hoping it'll fit under the hood of the tractor. And I'll just use the tractor battery to power it. Of course, I'll leave the tractor running and and use its power to get up the hill. But anyhow, this is what I got going there. I'm gonna take this down and see, see if I can make, uh, make progress. <laughs>
Life is good. Mission accomplished. Boy, that was a chore. But I'm glad, happy when a plan comes together. I'm gonna take you up there. I'll come back and get my hardware here and a GIF. Remember all my straps. But yeah. That was a little bit of a challenge there. I put it in second gear and it should have been in low gear. But yeah, it, uh, it can get a little bit of traction here and it's not quite near as steep. That's one steep mother down that hill. So the winch did its job. It earned its keep. I want to keep that for... Uh, my thought is for using it for loading the putting on the front of the trailer, loading disabled cars and whatnot on the trailer, or logs or whatever. So it works really well. And now I gotta put my baby away. Pretty sure there was a lesson learned here. Do not go down that hill when it's this time of year when it's iced over. I should have walked it before I did that. But no, I got in a hurry. It was nice and warm out and I was deceived by the temperature. Of course, that's just an excuse. But yeah. Glad to have it back. Anyway, thanks for watching.